we've fixed the video problem, probably. Yeah. It worked in the test, and Yoshi's nose is kind of just melding with that toe. <laughs> what do we got here? Blah, wow. blah, blah. Here's a one-up for no reason. Okay. I thought, that I thought we did, too, but he had, like, a new mail icon. I don't know. Hopefully I'm not... Duff it! Hopefully I'm not quiet, because I'm, like, a, a year away from the microphone. Not a year away. It's the a same year amount, away. It's the same amount of space, really, when you think about it in your mind. I don't know. It, it seemed to be fine in the test. You're just upset because you're not, like, the center now. Yes, I'm very upset. <laughs> they gave well, me more fries can... than her at Steak and Shake because I am a man. I'm a man. Yeah, we went to Steak and Shake, and I got the saddest amount of fries. And they gave me a freaking ton of them. our waiter, like, didn't come and say hi. How dare he? How dare he? But he still got a tip, so. A smaller tip than he normally would have gotten, though. Was it 15%? I don't know. I am about to tell, like, what I paid. <laughs> anyway, our rats didn't escape, but we thought that they did. It was sad. We, like, I, I, they were escaping from their pen, their little yeah, play Yeah, we, we got them, like, a little fence so they can go out of the cage and roam a little bit. It's just a round little play pen, and it's very cute, and that. it works well. What? It's Coins. gonna be coins, isn't it? Yes. And he picked up them. I know. He picked up five of them. I couldn't help it. <laughs> anyway, so I they Blob is the climber. So he climbed out and started learning how to cling his little paws to the bars and he's a regular escapee with that play pin. So I'm like, we well, gotta do something. So we taped paper all around the top of it. It's like the crappiest solution, but it <laughs> works really well. I knew it would. Like he sees the he gets to the top sees the paper and won't it's continue. It's like, oh, well, screw this. Yeah, so he doesn't continue upward. So it works really well, and we can leave them unattended for, you know, a little while. So we left... Shake to, the Wiimote. So we left to go to Steak and Shake, and I'm like, oh, well, they can stay out in their pen. You know, I hate to put them in their cage, and I know they can't escape. So we closed all the doors, even if they did escape, so they wouldn't get into other rooms. So we get back, and I go to check on I think on that's them. like four million coins, Probably. by the way. And I go to check this on level them. level is not that interesting, so I'm just going to shut Starbucks. up. Starbucks. I know. Um, now, I, now I've lost my uh, train of thought. Uh, I we should got not home. take the star. Where does it even go? It goes through Starbucks. Um, and it just goes over there. No, I will do it my own way. <laughs> Hope you can reach it with another long jump. Um, you went <laughs> a little far down. Mm, yes, I did. Yay. All is good. Okay. So we get home, what? and I just... I'm a happy hippo! You still keep interrupting me. <laughs> well, come on, there's a hippo here. That's just true. It's a very slighty hippo. Can I continue? No. Okay, fine. So we get home. Ah. I was waiting for the interruption. And, um, we, I go to check on, on them in the, the little cage to make sure that they're still there, you know, gotta make sure. And they're just not in there. And I'm like... Oh God! And I'm shaking their cage. I'm like, "Spock, Rob, where are you guys?" And they're not answering. And and like, I'm like, "No, they have somehow escaped and leaped over the the paper that I have taped. How dare they get past my crappy solution?" <laughs> so it's the best solution. So I'm like worried that they're in the chair that we have. We have like the recliner chair. And we're worried that they got into it and have made a nest and will never come out again. Mama hid them under the house. <laughs> so, that um, uh, we're like looking all around, making sure that they can't get underneath the fridge or the stove. Because all they can get under is the chair behind the fish tank. This, and they can't even get... 19 one. other places. Well, like, they wouldn't get stuck in other places. There's so some boxes. The over here for no There's some boxes around and stuff, but they can't get into them. And, um, so we, uh, let me think. We check to make sure they can't fit underneath the stove, because they've gotten a lot bigger since we, um, got them. And, um, they can't fit under there. Can't get behind, we checked underneath. Uh, good job. We checked you underneath. You know what happened one day. Checked underneath the fridge, and they're not there. So finally, after 15 minutes of, like, looking around and panicking that these rats are in the chair... Josh finally looks over into the cage, and he's like, they're, they're, I see them. 
And I'm like, no, you cannot see them because I have looked in their cage, like, a lot, and even shook it to make sure that they weren't hiding or dead or something. And he's like, they're underneath the blanket. I don't know how the hell... Well, I know how they did it, but... We're gonna get this going on, right? We have a blanket underneath the playpen, that way, you know, it's, it stays clean, and we can just shake off the blanket after they eat their sunflower seeds and get it everywhere, because they love their sunflower seeds. And, um... You're supposed to go up. Too bad. Oh, okay. I don't know. I remember this part. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. We're cleaning. It was the best plan. Um. So we have a blanket underneath it. That way, they can, you know, we can make sure their food and mess and everything like that can just get shaken out after a while. So he, they have somehow pulled the blanket underneath underneath the pen and have somehow burrowed themselves underneath the blanket and they're just two little lumps moving around trying to find their way out of this thing and it was I was like so sad because they couldn't find their way back out and I was like no and it just felt really bad so that's the story of our rats not really escaping but kind of <laughs> it was the most worthwhile story yes well, people hate me now <laughs> Apparently, Virtual Dub has a cap on how long you can record. Really? It says time left, 942. Where but at? Luigi, where did you come from? Where at? Like, near the top. Near the top? Oh, let's see. So, guess I'll have to keep an eye on that. Oh. So, why did Luigi appear? He wasn't even in the level. I'm confused. Well, it's 16 minutes. We usually stop about 15 minutes anyway. Yeah, but not always. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah, that level, uh... Not really a whole lot to say about it, so let's do it again. Um, I say as I pick up and die. Oh, I got three really... What? What? Oh, it's a, it's a secret star. It's a coin, Luma. The other one, I guess you have to wait for a comment. Oh, okay. So we got so... three games today. We went by GameStop and got three games for like two ninety nine. dollars Basically, yeah, I just found the games that were cheap and may or may not suck. But so... I um, got Zenses, which is a casual puzzle game. It's Z E N, you know, whatever. But um, got that, and I got something called Populous, which was apparently a game that came out in 1989, and that you are like basically God. Yeah, who knew? And and um, Luigi time. Hey, it was only 2.99, right? <laughs> so, and the other one I got was something called Spectrobes, which I am aware of. I know that Datai did a playthrough of one of those games, but I didn't watch it, so I don't really know what it is. So I looked it up, and apparently it is a pretty good competitor to Pokemon. But that's by IGN standards, and we all know we love IGN, right? <laughs> so. I might LP Camcorder, LP one of them, I'm not sure yet. If they use the bottom screen, I don't know how Yeah, they if, if it uses the bottom screen, then it. But we'll see. Uh, yeah, careful, everything has coins. I like these snow sculptures. It lands on the coins and they just spurt out in a gush of lava. There they go. It's gush of lava. Gush of lava. The entire confection. No. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, you need Music to... didn't really sync up there. Yes, it did. It, it let you know that it was but, stopping. Eh. I'm used to it reaching a certain point of the song before it dies. Uh, so anyway, yeah, in the first galaxy, uh, you have to beat the entire game as Mario in order to have the honor to do it again as Luigi and mm -hmm. it not be different in the slightest. In this game, you can just pick Luigi randomly. It's nice. I don't I know actually, if he's really... I'm sad because I just noticed he was using Luigi. Yeah, he has the floating, like, the more floating mechanics, but I don't know if there's any time when this is really... A good or bad thing, so whatever. Well, his jumping is good, so I just... careful with coins. I don't think there are any in here. Oh, there are. There are a little bit in here. Oh my god. Okay, uh, careful with coins that suddenly appear. Yeah, and the getting crushed by blocks, yeah. which can happen. The comet metal is somewhere buried under the snow, I think. Trying to think if there's any other more useless stories we can say. I think we got most of the 
most of them out in the <laughs> pizza video. Best video ever. Yes. I, I, I worry. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, let's not draw attention yeah. to things. <laughs> now everyone will be like, what? Yeah. Oh, God. I'm, like, already out of commentary for this game. Well, this isn't really an interesting level. Yeah, neither was the last one. What was the last one? <laughs> you already forgot. Exactly. And, like, shaking the Wii mode is not working. I don't know. It has the Wii Motion Plus in it. It should work. That is why it won't work. I wouldn't stop if I were you. Yeah, I think you have to use this anyway. Don't know what I'm doing. You're, I'm covering the pipe right here. Oh. Okay. There's a pipe. I thought that just led to the coin one. Um, oh. Okay. So let's see how much I can cheese here. Okay. All of it. Good to know. You need the fire cloud. Yeah. Of course, I had to run out. And now I'm stuck. And now you're stuck forever. Oh, God. Talk about your wonderful getting stuck moment. Oh, yeah. Um, what game is that? I got... Dragon... Dragon Age Origins. Dragon Age Origins. Death. You're on one I know. Thing. Not much I can do about it. Um, he got Nuts and Bolts, and we got... I got Dragon Age Never Origins. Never play that game again. Yes, you will. With Robert, anyway. But, um... I, uh... It's by Bioware, so... I mean, I think they're most known for Knights of the Old Republic, which I love. We'll never LP, though. I s still barely even know what it is. It's RPG with Star Wars. It's kind of like what Dragon Age, but with Star Wars. Yeah. And I... the combat system is a little bit more D&D based. But anyway, the only the thing I've gotten out of Dragon Age is uh, every time you attack, one of five voice clips will play <laughs> constantly. Over. Well, it's not like, so noticeable when you're in the heat of battle. When there's a lot of noise, yeah. but yeah. But, um, I think. But it's really good. The dialogue is good. And it's interesting because the Knights of the Old Republic, you can choose your character, like male or female, but you always start out the same way in the beginning, and the game pretty much progresses the same way. A few different dialogue differences. With this game, you pretty much have six different beginnings. And I chose, like, a dwarf commoner, but I could have chosen starting out as a dwarf... I believe, like, son or daughter of a king. So it, I'm excited to go back and replay that part of the game to see what happens and how different the story would be. Well, there's the first prankster comment. God. I still don't know if that was triggered by the little whittle thing, but eh, I'm not sure. I so, guess I can do one more level. So anyone who is wondering about Dragon Age Origins, it is good. I like it. Um... That is the first game from what I've been told. Hopefully it is the first game. So, I'm not used to the games being called Origins being the first game. Yeah, it sounds like a prequel it, to me. It's usually you have, like, something called Dragon Age, and then after that, Dragon Age Origins. That's what happened with Bat and Kaidos. You have Bat and Kaidos, uh, Legend of the Blue Whale or whatever, and um, then Bat and Kaidos Origins. So... And if you played Origins first, then you would be kind of completely lost. And it spoils Bat and Kaidos. So, like, I don't know. Never LP that game either. Fun game, but not LP. RPGs are, are hard to LP. Because there's no really grinding, from what I can tell, in Dragon Age. Um... There is grinding to be done. The, yeah, the problem with it is just that if you're going through it blind, then yeah. you're going to want to listen to all the dialogue it, and not really have anything to say about it. Exactly. And if you're not going through it blind, then you're going to want to talk over and it, it, and then people are going to complain. And it's all voice acted, and it's relatively well voice acted, too. I mean, Bioware is known Except for... Except for that one guy who sounded yeah, like Frost cartoon. Man. Well, Bioware is known for their dialogue, from what I know. Like, that's what I know them for. And they've done, um, uh, Jade Empire, which I loved. Um, of course, Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2. I believe they've done some other stuff I haven't actually had a chance to play, but I don't think I was interested in anything else. Knights of the Old Republic, 
I actually played number two first before realizing I had no idea what was going on, and I had to actually go and find number one. Because I played five minutes of number two and was like, okay, I don't know what the heck is going on. So I stopped the game, got in my car, and went and find, found number one. <laughs> it was kind of terrible. But... Ah, uh, it was risky. Good. I don't know, there's like... Uh, you're not even looking. What? Uh, we have two minutes left. Yeah, I'll... Um... I'll stop right here. No, I can probably finish this one. I... Go! You can't fail one time. No, run! I love this fruit. It's a really cool fruit, but it's so panicky. It's a little weird, but I do like the idea behind it. It's basically a portable version of the matter splatter thing from the first game. Matter splatter? Yes, matter splatter. I don't think it's called that. Yes, it is. It should be called something else. It's, it is called that. Go away, pig. Every game must have pigs in it. Pigs are amazing. Spe and, and they're flying pigs, There are too. pigs in Tomba, uh, which I will never, ever get, because it's, like, $80. Yeah. Ah! ah! What the crap? You flipped off a Yoshi. I totally didn't, <laughs> though. The game is lying. Can you make it? I don't know. I think you can make it there. I saw the This will be the... I think I saw the shine of the star. One part of... This will be the one part of the video where I'm actually, like, caring about what's going on. Up until now, it's just kind of been, eh. Yeah, on autopilot. Like, I have nothing to say, so go ahead and talk about your games. Sorry. Oh, no, it's fine. I, I really had nothing to say about those levels whatsoever. Okay. Good. When flying pigs fly. Sure. Oh, hey. Just don't press Z. I'm so used to trying the infinite flutter glitch that it's hard to not press C. Just don't press C. And then I immediately press it again. It's hard. Yay, yeah, it was right! Freaking there! <laughs> Alright, next time. I'm next time, I might talk about the game. Never. But probably not.